What's happening, Magnus Sykes? So, I'm a very, very loyal man. And I said, there's a possibility that I've told this story before, but I'm telling it again. So, for all the Magnus Sykes that might have heard it, you ain't even got to watch it. But for all the new Magnus Sykes, you're probably going to enjoy this story. Give you a story of my loyalty. Okay? So, WrestleMania 28, Miami, Florida. I was down there with my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. And uh, Miami is a city that I seriously, to this day, am truly, really considering moving to. Loved it down there. Beautiful city, beautiful people. As a matter of fact, I think it's ranked in America as America's most beautiful city, or no, no, the city with the most beautiful people. Well, let me tell you about my firsthand taste of that. So at this one point, me and my girl were getting a lot of, uh, we were going to the smoothie, uh, what's it called, smoothie, smoothie king. We were going to smoothie king. They had one right down the street from our hotel. And we kept getting that passport passion or something. That shit was good. So one day she's getting ready. And I said, you know, I'm going to go get me a shake from passion, passport. I mean, from Smoothie King. So I go down the street. And on my way back, I see this white Mercedes truck pull up. In this Cuban, Brazilian, Colombian, South American. Dominican, I don't know what she was, but she was one of those. Steps out of this truck with these blue Brazilian. What the fuck is it with me running into women with Brazilian jeans? Because my other story with the girl put the finger through my shirt, she was wearing purple. These blue Brazilian jeans, high heels, this black, like, belly tank oh my god she was bad and I look I was like oh my god loyalty you're a loyal man you're a good man you're a loyal man you're a good man I go in the doors and I get on the elevator now you remember that Russell that, that wrestling match where Brock Lesnar runs in the ring and the bad guy gets out of the ring and before you know it Brock Lesnar's outside of the ring clotheslining him that's how fast she apparently got to the elevator. I don't know how I see her stepping out of her truck, but when I get on the elevator, the next floor, she's there. So she gets on the elevator and she's looking at me and I say, how you doing? She says, hello. I'm like, oh my God, this woman wants me to talk to her. I can tell just from the way she's looking at me. Yo, and I'm, you want to talk, body, she was fucking, uh, she was a fucking 10, okay? And I don't give too many people's a 10, because I know everybody's got their flaws. But for, for, for story purposes, she was a 10. I'm sure if you gave me a chance to look her over, I could have found a flaw. So... Get to my floor, the door's open, and I get off. She says, goodbye. I said, huh? I knew it, I knew it. Like, women don't say goodbye to you when you get off the elevator, especially like that. And for a good 15 to 30 minutes after I got off of that elevator, I was thinking to myself, like, it's, it was one of them, guys. You know what I'm talking about, fellas. The ones that make you think twice. You love your girl. You would take a bullet for her. You would marry her. You would have nine children with her ass and provide for her for the rest of her life. But sometimes there are women that come into your life that entice you to the point some of y'all cheating. That's why y'all get in trouble, but... I was, I was one of the steadfast men, the ones <laughs> with a strong foundation, because, and uh, years later, you know, sometimes I think, you know, should at least give her my number. So anyway, 
That is my story. I remember what she looked like too, girl. If you watch me, you see this video. I'm gonna be in Miami soon enough, sooner or later. So, and you know what's funny is um, there was a girl I was dating for a short period of time last year, and decided that um, you know I couldn't deal with her because she was uh, extremely insecure. She kept thinking I was cheating, or when she couldn't see me, that or if I didn't answer the phone, that I wasn't. I was talking to another woman. I mean, I've never met anybody with that, you know, much, you know, psychotic behavior dealing with. You know, sometimes I wish I could have said, I answer to Grissom, not to psychos. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, because I, I, I was like, how the fuck? Like, hey, you have no idea how loyal of a man that I am. Trust me. So anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you thought of my story. If you enjoyed the story, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't, you don't know good entertainment. One million subscribers. Woo!